Anyone who's tried to learn pivot turns has been here. And here. It's a really difficult skill to learn, especially if you're short. I'm here to share some tips with you guys that I have learned as a short rider myself. I've had to adapt and change my way of doing things a little bit, but I'm starting to have success with it. The goal with a pivot turn is to get the bike into a vertical position with as little forward movement as possible. You want to get it up to 12 o'clock in a controlled manner and be able to bring it around 180 degrees. This all requires clutch and throttle control, and of course, the rear brake. It's easy, right? Uh, not so much. There are a few things I've really struggled with. The first thing is getting your front wheel up easily without a lot of throttle and wheel spin. The trick to getting the traction you need is proper timing with the clutch and throttle and properly weighting the bike. In an ideal world, I would push down on the peg to weight my front and rear suspension just before I give it throttle. But I am barely able to touch the ground while sitting on the bike and I find this very difficult. What I do instead is lean forwards and compress the forks. This does not weight the rear end at all, so I throw my weight back over the rear tire as soon as I get on the gas. Now this is an image I'm sure many of you can relate to. The short leg life can be tough. What you need to figure out is how to keep that right foot on the back brake. Without the back brake, the pivot turn is extremely difficult to control. If you're not covering and using the back brake, this is going to be your result. I found that the trick is sitting nice and far back on the bike. If you can't reach it properly from a sitting position, you just have to slide your foot over it as soon as you get the bike vertical. I found that as my body slid back on the bike, it put my leg in a better position to reach the back brake. It's easy to lose the back brake if you let things get out of control, so you really have to focus on staying on it. The further the bike rolls forwards, the harder it is to keep covering the brake. You really want to focus on making your pivot turns as tight as possible. The end goal is to barely move forwards at all. Let's review the basic steps. Number one, sit nice and far back on the bike. Number two, lean forwards and compress the forks. Number three, lean back to weight the rear tire as you get on the gas. Number four, use the rear brake to keep the bike from getting away from you. And number five, pull your bike to the left to bring it around. Now here are the key points one more time. Try to get the bike vertical without a ton of throttle and wheel spin. Your timing with the clutch and the throttle are very important and this takes practice. You can all reach the back brake when the bike is vertical, even if you have really short legs. And lastly, you need to keep the bike close to you or you'll lose it. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below.